Gerald, great to see you. Yeah. Finally meet you. You're a voice which I've heard a lot over oh. the past few months. Um, everyone, I think, is going to know you from, obviously, Don't Owe Me. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So mm. I want to start with that, obviously, because that is what everyone knows in the UK from you. So kind of, how did you get involved in that? And do you think it's really helped you to kind of bring out your own stuff over Yeah, here? no, certainly. Um, I met Grace. I heard that the day I met her, they were playing me records. Um, met her through a mutual friend, mm -hmm. uh, her producer actually, who I'd done work with in the past, uh, Parker. And uh, they were just like, you know, when you get into Atlanta on your tour, I come by the studio, we're here working, and there's this girl I want you to meet. And I mean, I was just so, you know, convinced, like instantly, by her talent, by her energy, by, you know what I mean, like her power as a singer, that I was sold. It wasn't like, you know what I mean, you had to twist my arm to do it. It was like, you know, please sign me up. So, um, you know, when I heard You Don't Own Me, it was my favorite. And when they asked, like, would you, you know, give us a verse on this, I was like, please. Yeah. So, um, you know, and then like, you know, the history of the song, you know, is very special. Mm -hmm. And uh, and getting to meet Quincy Jones uh, oh, in the process of, you know, finishing the song, our version and uh, releasing it, you know, that was obviously like, you know, it's not every day you just get to go to Quincy Jones's house, you yeah. know, have a Which conversation about that. music. <laughs> Yeah, so it was dope. Um, did you know instantly that you had a hit on your hands? Yeah, I, I think certain songs, you can kind of just, you can tell. I don't know so much how you can tell, it's, it's a feel. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like, that's why I love music so much. You know, it's great music, just, you know, it does something to you, mm. it gives you a feeling. And that song, like, I got chills the first time I heard it. But, you know what I mean? It's like, it was, it was a hit, you know, Half a Back. half a century ago, you know what I mean, and that's what's so dope about music is that like you can modernize it, reinterpret it, and you know what I mean through today's lens or whatever, and it's and it still be great. But I feel like you must have had that same feeling with me, myself, and I because yeah. when you hear it, you know you've got a hit on your hands. Yeah. It's a song which I've heard about for so long I feel mm -hmm. but I didn't actually realize it was it was you it's your yeah, music yeah. so what's it kind of been like trying to make your own like name mm -hmm. in the industry because you've been around for a while haven't yeah, you yeah. but it's kind of now that we're that especially in the UK that we're really hearing about you so yeah has it kind of been a struggle to get there I mean it's all a process it's all a, it's all a grind uh, nothing worth anything really ever comes overnight mm. you know um, and the world is a big place, you know, it's, it's crazy now with like the power like of the internet and how music can travel so fast and everything, you know what I'm saying, but it's still like to get people to care, you know what I mean, to really get like word of mouth going crazy and to get the conversation or whatever, to get the awareness out about, you know what I mean, the music, it's all, it's all a grind and we've been at it for a long time and it's not like, you know, I just, well, I love lot, what I do. A lot of people have said that I don't know what kind of artist you see yourself as. I've seen you, um, a lot of places call you a millennial artist. Do you think you see yourself as that? Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that term. What does it mean? It's just, I guess it's just this generation, isn't it? That kind yeah. of younger Taylor Swift, they kind of put in that same category. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, do you see yourself kind of as that artist or what kind of artist do you see yourself as? Well, I mean, in terms of, you know, I could only be born in the generation that I am, you know what I'm saying, and inspired by what I'm inspired by. I think we're more so an era of like, you know, the music industry has changed. The way we get music has changed. And the way artists release and share their music and develop a fan base and then keep up with that fan base has changed. You know what I'm saying? So it's like being in constant communication with your fans, being in touch, you know what I mean, with social media and all that. It all has an effect, you know what I mean, it changes the game. But um, it all comes back to the music and, and back to what I was saying about You Don't Own Me, yeah. you know? Or even me, myself, and I, like, You Don't Own Me, you know, was a hit 50 years ago and it's a hit today. Good music is good music. Like, me, myself, and I, like, when she played me, you know, like, the idea of it, it was just piano and vocals. Like, it wasn't meant to be no rap song or nothing like that necessarily. You know what I mean? I heard that version, you know, the demo and was like, this is a smash. 
Like, and I just heard it, you know what I mean, with those halftime drums yeah. and like me filling in the verses, like rapping and like, like structuring the song in this sense. Um, but that's to say it's like regardless of genre or format or time period or whatever, good music will cut through and that's what it's all about. Well, you've been obviously producing behind the scenes as well before you've kind of come up and done your own thing. So who would you say, as you've gone along through this process, has really influenced you musically? Kanye is for sure one of my biggest influences. I mean, this is as one of my favorite artists of all time. Um, Lil Wayne, mm -hmm. Dr. Dre, Eminem, um, Drake. Well, you've toured with some of those guys, haven't you? Drake and yeah. Lil Wayne, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, Wayne. With those guys, what was that mm -hmm. like? I mean, it was uh, a crazy experience, you know what I mean? Getting to open up like that. I don't that. know what you mean, because I would never get the chance to, <laughs> to yeah. perform with those guys. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, anytime, you know what I mean, I'd be around them and would get to watch them perform, you know, every night when I was opening up, I would just try to learn as much as I could, you know what I mean? I study the greats, the people I look up to. What you did know? you learn? I mean, just watching, you know what I'm saying? They put on great shows. They're mm -hmm. some of the best performers out there. Um, you know, from the set list and how you piece it together to the production, you know what I mean? How you control the crowd and the energy level and the dynamic and how you communicate to the crowd and how you lead into certain songs and whatnot. And you're taking that all on your own tour as well? Is that, yeah, yeah. you're doing that, aren't you? You've, you're headlining your own tour. Mm -hmm. How's yeah. that all going? I'm pretty much just forever on tour. <laughs> it's just an ongoing tour. Um, but this new one, yeah, the latest anyway, um, right after we put the album out, we started touring in the States off of the album. Um, we just took it to Australia mm. and New Zealand. Um, and then we're touring all of Europe in May. So. That's like sold out, isn't it? Yeah. That's crazy. Because yeah. there are some even bigger artists that don't mm. necessarily always sell out their tour. So that must be a pretty amazing feeling. Yeah, no, it's all great, man. I mean, like everything that's going on right now, you know, mm. it's all been a blessing. Um, you appreciate the moments, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, it's crazy how you could, you know, it, it could take 10 years to build something and it could crumble in a moment, yeah. you know what I mean, in today's world. I mean, God forbid, like, we don't ever think like that. But I'm saying it's like, you got to be appreciative for everything that comes your way, all the blessings. But um, I just care, like, about the show, you know, and I always, like, wherever I'm at, like, whatever venue, if you know, I'm headlining or opening up, whether it's a small spot or it's 10,000 people sold out. It's like, you know, I just want to give them an experience that they'll remember forever and make the show something, yeah. you know, as remarkable as it could be. Do you think that the internet really helped you with like bringing your music to the masses? Because back in the day, mm -hmm. you know, they, you were trying, you had to be in a band and try and make it and get seen by a big record label mm -hmm. before you got a chance. But you you put out a lot of your music on the internet, haven't you? And that's, yeah, yeah. Do you think that's really helped to kind of get you to where you are today? Yeah, I think back in the day, you know, to be an artist and, you know, to find any success or breakthrough or whatever, it was about being discovered. Like now, if you're waiting to be discovered, you're doing it wrong. You got to discover yourself. Yeah. And, you know, whatever it is that, you know, you want to do and, you know, create it and make it happen for yourself and build the following, the fan base, you know, the, the community or the culture around the music mm. and the touring and all that and build it up, you know, so you have your own movement. You're not waiting for, you know, a label or a big artist to discover you and, you know, build everything for you. You yeah. gotta build it yourself. Who, I have to ask you because you, you've, you're getting a chance to go all over the place and meet all these people. What is, who's the most amazing person to like hang out with? Who's the most fun? I met Jay-Z and that was like, you know, a crazy moment for me. We had dinner, <laughs> uh, me, him, and a couple of people and it was just like sharing conversation with Jay-Z was definitely something I remember my whole life. Mm, I can imagine. And what would you say so far would has been your, your biggest achievement? I mean, I don't, you know, I don't much think about achievement. What did, what did Tom Waits say? <laughs> what was the quote? Achievement, achievement. I don't really think about achievement. Uh, nah. Um, I mean, just selling out this last tour. Okay. The whole run in the States, Australia, New Zealand, like every single show sold out. There was not a ticket left at every, yeah. any single show. And that to me means like, you know, that, that people love the, la the, the album, the new album we just put out, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's like, and they wanted to come see it live. So that, you know, 
You can't that ask better than that, really, can yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and in the UK, what, where are we going to see you? What are you going to be doing for us? How are we going to hear yeah. more and see you more? I'm doing three nights in London okay. in, uh, at the end of May, mm -hmm. but I believe they're all sold out. <laughs> yeah. But um, I always come back. Okay. Yeah. And music wise, what can we hear from you next? Because I know me, myself, and I is going to mm -hmm. blow up because yeah, it is yeah. just a hit when you hear it. So yeah. from there, where do you go? Yeah, from there, um, they're going to start working the next single on the album, and then the next single, then the next single. <laughs> and I'm going to be in the lab working on the next one, the next album. Anything about the next single you can tell us? Mm -mm. Wow. I don't know if they've picked which one yet. Okay. Let's finish then on mm -hmm. what do you think it takes to survive in the industry? Oh, wow. Um, to survive <laughs> in the industry, you definitely need patience. And you definitely got to be doing it for the right reasons. You know, because it's, it's one of the hardest industries to succeed in. You know, that's why I, I can never knock anybody, mm -hmm. you know, in music. It's like, it's so hard to make it anywhere in this game. So it's like, I don't doubt anybody's hard work. It takes a lot. Um, and just, you know, being in love with it. Because if you do it because you love it and not because, you know I mean, you're trying to get rich off of it or something like that, then, you know, it's all good. You're not going to turn all Kanye on us then? Man, <laughs> I'm trying not to lose my <laughs> mind. I lose track of it every now and then, but I, I always find it when I misplace it. So my mind hasn't gone completely missing on me yet. Well, thank you very much for your time today. For sure. Good luck with the song because, thank you. like I said, I think you've, you definitely know what to do to get hit. So. For sure. Much love. Thank you.